unity, reconciliation, peace in the Middle East, and a real union between Arabs and Jews and all kind of people in the world. That is what Jesus wants to bring into us. And let me say, let me say, for your own best. Now, this meeting tonight is being watched by many. We have the Swedish mass media here, and uh, you are now watched of this whole country. And I appeal to you that you understand that we are able to talk without getting angry on each other. Now, I must take those statements by Mr. Didad. I have still 15 minutes. It says in the very beginning of Genesis that God created and Mr. Ahmed Didad explains that there is a plural here in the beginning in the Bible that we have not yet discovered in our different various translations. But you see, as you read the whole chapter, you find that the plural is there. And the plural is or even in the Quran. Because when God talks about himself, he says, let us make man into our own image. So if Elohim means God in plural, this is the wholeness. As the whole Bible tells us, God is not just a single individual in the sense of human thinking. He's beyond our comprehension. comprehension, comprehension. How do you say it in English now? <laughs> Comprehension. Yes. So there is no contradiction in that. The Bible clarifies it very well in the first chapter of Genesis. And uh, let me say, we have an expert in adding to the Bible what is not there. And that expert is present here tonight. His name is Mr. Ahmed Didat. <laughs> Tomorrow evening, I'm going to give you many examples how Mr. Didat miscredit my Jesus. And sometimes <clears throat> I'm a little wondering about the honesty, but we are going to have dinner together, lunch together, and we'll talk and find out. Now, which one of your questions Take this one. Satan said to David, count the people. And in the other version it says, God said, count them. Well, if you're a father, you know the same from your children. Sometimes they say, Daddy, Mommy, I want to go to the cinema. And you say, no, don't go. And they continue to say, I want to go and see that film. But the father says, no, don't go. I'm going to cry the whole evening. No one loves me in this house. I want to go and see that film. And after having repeated that ten times, finally you say, okay, go. This is what happened. Satan tempted David to do something wrong. And David said, God, I'm going to count. God said, no. David said, no, I'm going to count them. I want to know how many they are. God said, no, you should trust on me. Don't rely upon people. You should just trust me. Don't count them because then you become proud. But David said, no, I'm going to count them. And God finally says, count them. <laughs> now, here is another example. Mr. Didat in this book has written like this, that uh, there is a contradiction saying that David slew the men of 700 chariots. And in the other version it says, David slew of the Syrians 7,000 men. No difficulty at all. 
In every chariot there were ten men. But in one version it says there were 40,000 horsemen. In the other one it says 40,000 footmen. No difficulty at all. All the 40,000, they, they ran. They were horsemen, but they, they, the horses were killed and they ran. <laughs> and here it says Solomon had 4,000 stalls for horses. In the other version it says Solomon had 40,000 stalls. A difference of 36,000. No, no, no. You see, this is a testimony about how God was blessing. And in the beginning, he had 4,000. And after some years, he had 40,000. Now, Jesus said, none of them have been lost. You gained some money somewhere because uh, you uh, had an answer about how many percentage. Now, Jesus...